Well, I remember it all very well looking back. It was the summer I turned 18. We lived in a one-room rundown shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent, to say the least. We were hard-pressed. Then Mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. But Mama washed and combed and curled my hair, and then she painted my eyes and lips. Then I stepped into a satin dancing dress that had a split on the side, clean up to my hip. It was red, velvet trimming, and it fit me good. Standing back from the looking glass, there stood a woman where a half-grown kid had stood. She said, here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me die. She said, here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me die. Mama dabbed a little bit of perfume on my neck, then she kissed my cheek. And then I saw the tears welling up in her troubled eyes as she started to speak. She looked at our pitiful shack, and then she looked at me and took a ragged breath. She says, your paws run off, and I'm real sick, and the baby's gonna starve to death. She handed me a heart-shaped locket that said, to dine on self be true. And I shivered as I watched the roach crawl across the toe of my high heel shoe. It sounded like somebody else that was talking, asking, Mama, what do I do? She said, just be nice to the gentleman fancy. They'll be nice to you. She said, here's your one chance fancy, don't let me die. Here's your one chance fancy, don't let me die. Lord, forgive me for what I do. But if you want I well, it's up to you. Now, don't let me die now. Your mama's going to move you up time. Well, that was the last time I saw my ma when I left that rickety shack. The welfare people came and took the baby. Mama died and I ain't been back. But the wheels of fate had started to turn and for me there was no way I wasn't very long till I knew exactly what my mom had been talking about. I knew what I had to do when I made myself this solemn vow that I was gonna be a lady someday though I didn't know when or how. But I couldn't see spending the rest of my life with my head hung down in shame. You know, I might have been born just plain white trash, but Fancy was my name. She said, here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me die. She said, here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me die. It wasn't long after a benevolent man took a me in off the street. One week later, I was pouring his tea in a five-room hotel suite. I charmed the king, a congressman, and an occasional aristocrat. And then I got me a Georgia mansion, and then an elegant New York Time High flat. And I ain't doing bad. Now in this world, there's a lot of self-righteous hypocrites that call me bad and criticize mama for turning me out no matter how little we had. But though I ain't had to worry about nothing for nine on 15 years, well, I can still hear the desperation in my poor mama's voice ringing in my ears. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me die. Well, here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me die. Lord, forgive me for what I do. But if you won't eat, well, it's up to you. Now, don't let me die, hun. Your mama's gonna move you up time. Oh, and I guess she did. <laughs>